For my assignment for dealing with the relevancy of trigonometry in everyday life, I decided to look at stairs. Although we use them every day and they're in everyone's households, how often do we really think of trigonometry when we go up and down them? There's a lot of different measurements and a lot of different angles involved in building and putting in a staircase. So although there is a range of angles at which stairs can be built, you need to take into consideration things like available space constraints when putting in stairs. The closest to a perfect rise and run for a stair design is 7 and 1 fourth rise to 11 and 1 fourth inch run, which works out to be a roughly a 33 degree incline. Apparently anything more than a 45 degree incline is considered to be a ladder and not a staircase by building codes. Safety for stairs is also known as the rule of 18. So the total of the rise of a step plus the run of the tread should equal 18. And they're talking about 18 inches. So example, if you have a rise of a 7 and 1 half inch on your stair, the tread should then go 10 and a half inches long. On a staircase, these should be all as nearly the same every single time. If a lot of force place is available, you should shorten the rise and extend the run. Example, you can have, you know, 6 and 3 quarter inch rise and 11 and 1 fourth inch run. Both of those add up to 18 inches. And my staircase here has a run of approximately 9 and a half inches and a rise of, which looks to be about... Uh, close to seven and a half inches. So my staircase doesn't quite add up to 18 inches. There's many different tools out there uh, to ensure that such angles are met, uh, you know, more than just the basic protractor we use in class. Carpenters and contractors use devices such as miter guides, pivot squares, speed squares, bevel protractors, T squares, or can use a device called a stair tread gauge that has measurements and angles built in it. All the information I discussed here will be found in my bibliography attached for the assignment. So, that is trigonometry relevancy in everyday life, the stairs.